Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to install Git into Eclipse. So we go to help and install new software. Over here, we need to add a site to download the software from. If we click over here, you notice that there's no sites available. So what we have to do instead is we have to click on this available software sites hyperlink over here uh, to get uh, Git installed. So this will take us here when we click on that link. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to drag this over so we can see what we're doing. We have a list of hyperlinks. We need to modify these before we can continue. We're going to remove this first one over here. So we click yes over here. <clears throat> and we click on the second one. And we're going to edit this one. And it says Eclipse Updates 3.6. We're going to change it to 3.7. And we're going to name this Indigo updates. The reason why we're doing this is because uh, the uh, sites that came with this are out of date. I click on this link over here, we're going to edit this one. <coughs> this says it releases Helios. We're going to change Helios to Indigo. So replace Helios with I-N-D-I-G-O and we're going to name this one Indigo Release. So that's download.eclipse.org slash releases slash indigo. We'll click OK. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to change this last link over here. We're going to, uh, we're going to edit that one as well. And we're going to change Galileo to indigo again. So I-N-D-I-G-O and just call that uh, indigo CDT. We'll click OK. OK. Once we have this set up, we're going to select Indigo Release. Now we could click on, uh, what we're going to do is highlight this, so that's the one we want, and we're going to check that one. We're going to uh, check it, and we'll click OK. Make sure the other ones are not checked, by the way. All right. So now we're going to select the site to work with. Right, This is where we started from to begin with. We're going to uh, drag down, and you notice that we have Indigo Release here, so we're going to select that. Once we select that, it's going to find a list of the software available from that site. It's going to take a little while. It says it's pending. It's going to take some time for it to load up the appropriate um, uh, the list of software. Once it's loaded, you'll see something like this. Um, that is kind of <clears throat> minim uh, minimal screen real estate. Uh, yeah, even if I drag that a bit, it doesn't help. So if you go to the right-hand side of the screen, you'll see this uh, scroll bar. And you'll want to scroll uh, to the top. And just so you know, there's a scroll bar here uh, on the right-hand side of the screen. And if you scroll up and down, you'll see on the left-hand side is a bunch of different categories. We're going to scroll down until we see Collaboration. This thing over here says Collaboration. So we're going to select this, and we're going to expand the little triangle. We're going to click on that triangle to expand it. And we're going to use our arrow keys to go down a bit. So I'm going to push down, down, down. And OK, so let's stop here. Eclipse EGIT. That's what we want to uh, select. So we're going to uh, select that by uh, clicking the check mark. We're going to say next over here. And this is what we want, Eclipse eGit. So we're going to say next to install that. Uh, we'll accept the terms of the agreement and we'll click finish. Once we click finish, it's going to install the software. It'll tell us that it's installing it. Uh, it's going to tell us everything it's doing at the moment. It shouldn't take too long for this to, to do its thing. Um, <clears throat> and there'll be a little progress bar to indicate the progress of the installation. Um, but in any event, so yeah, eGet, what this lets us do, it lets us uh, record our changes to our software as we make changes, and we can uh, push things to a, uh, to a site. Now it says we want to restart, so we'll click Restart. For the it'll restart Eclipse, that is. <coughs> you notice that this has Eclipse Indigo. That's why we said Indigo everywhere. So uh, we're gonna uh, be sure to always use the appropriate software for our installation of Eclipse. All right, and it'll take us time to load up. <coughs> and once we load up, we should we should see a. Uh, a welcome screen. It'll go away pretty much on its own, uh, or at least it did for me, uh, but uh, or at least it will. Uh, so here's this welcome screen. Um, 
when I try to, uh, <laughs> it just goes away. I don't know why. Um, anyway, so we're going to click, uh, we're going to close this welcome thing over here. And once we close the welcome thing, you notice we're back to where we were.